As America's front door to the world, New York City and ports like the one here at Staten Island represent the front lines of America's global trade. That includes food from our farmers, the energy in our homes, the medical equipment in our hospitals, and everything in between. There isn't a single worker, family, or business in our country that isn't impacted by trade. The domestic marine cargo handling industry is dependent on this country's trade with other nations. We understand that this is a complex issue with certain nations acting in a belligerent manner towards the United States. The Chinese government is using forced labor and their labor is being used to make products for domestic and international markets. Modern day state imposed slave labor in China is America's number one source of imports. The existing laws must be fully enforced and even amended to ensure that American people are not unwittingly complicit in powering a genocide with their dollars. We've had plants that have closed down due to Chinese competition, which resulted in us actually closing our plant in Savannah, Georgia, and we had two facilities there. We don't have a problem competing. It's competing on fair playing ground. Russia and China are internally restricting exports, keeping supplies tight worldwide, and hence prices historically high. Hemdale Farms is up to the challenge of competing in global markets. However, we must have a level playing field with open markets and cost structure where we can be competitive with both our income and expenses. Going forward, if we're to make any more of those type agreements, you know, even something TPP-like, if you model it off the USMCA, probably it'll work. Enforcement is the key. We've always had well-written, you know, trade agreements but never a good mechanism for enforcing them. We need to protect our American workers. We have to address our strategic supply chains and strategically decouple from China.